Good afternoon. Thank you all for being here. My name is Amy Baca Ollard. I am a high school counselor and the vice president of the Colorado Education Association, representing 36,000 educators across the state of Colorado. Today, I am here to speak on behalf of public school educators in Colorado. Those very educators who are standing in front of children right now teaching them warming up a school bus to drive them home serving them a warm meal preparing medication to give them their meds during the school day or doing what it takes to serve the students of colorado the multi-trillion dollar republican tax giveaway would grant massive tax cuts for the wealthiest few paid for by working families and students these cuts would deny public schools the resources we need to nurture student success. By eliminating the state and local tax deduction, the Senate bill would blow a $370 billion hole in state and local revenue over 10 years and put at risk the jobs of nearly 250,000 educators. In Colorado, this means $330 less per student in funding and would put nearly 4,000 educator jobs at risk. Our state is already facing a critical teacher shortage and we are severely underfunding our public schools in Colorado. We are here today to call on senators like Cory Gardner, telling him to stand with educators, stand with students, and stand with working families, not the ultra-rich in corporations. of misguided priorities in Washington. It jeopardizes the ability of the state and local governments to fund education, translating into cuts to public schools, elimination of educator jobs, and, the re and will result in overcrowded classrooms that will diminish our ability to connect one-on-one -on -one with students and inspire their curiosity, imagination, and desire to learn. A recent report by the Joint Committee on Taxation, Congress's official nonpartisan analyst, says the Senate version of the multi-trillion dollar plan would raise taxes on working families earning $10,000 to $75,000 over the next decade. This clearly impacts those of us working in education who work day in and day out to serve the students of Colorado. The House of Representatives version of the tax bill would eliminate an educator tax deduction that allows educators to deduct what they spend up to $250 on classroom materials. Studies estimate that educators actually spend an average of $500 a year from our own pockets on supplies. These are things that provide students pencils, papers, the very things they need to learn in our classroom. They will be eliminated under the bill. I, like thousands, I, like thousands of educators across Colorado, feel that Congress needs to value those of us hardworking Americans, like public school educators who serve students. The current tax proposal hurts average Americans in order to help the ultra wealthy and benefit corporations. Eat the rich! <laughs> a multi-trillion dollar tax cut for the super wealthy will do nothing to help us in Colorado. It will do nothing to help us ensure our goal of having a great public education for every single child in Colorado. Vote no.